So here, here in the bottom of the first inning with the score nothing nothing, Seahawks come up to bat for the first time in this game. And we have Lexi Susi leading it off here for Salve Regina. So he's going to try and continue that pace, get runners on base early and often, try and get some runs up on the scoreboard in the first inning. And Olivia Tovar on the mound here for Eastern Nazarene. Susi takes strike one. With that pitch by Olivia Tovar already doing something that the previous starting pitcher for Eastern Nazarene could not do. That was still first pitch strikes, Andrew. Tovar 0-1. That one, so she hits in the left field, into the gap, up against the fence, almost left the park. Susi's going to work her way to second, so a stand-in double for Lexi Susi. Salve Regina continues to attack both the gaps in left center and in right center. Really hitting the ball everywhere. Eastern Nazarene is not. Now Katie Napier steps in in the number two spot in this game. So no one out. Susie standing at second. Napier takes ball one. Tovar looking in, gets the signal. Tovar delivers on the 1-0. That one in there for a called strike on the outside edge of the plate. You can see Lexi Susi out there for Salve at second base taking a pretty generous lead. Wondering if she's trying to elicit a throw here by the Nazarene catcher. Maybe try and get an error, advance the base runner. 1-1 one, one pitch, hit, and that's drifting foul. Count now one and two. So one and two the count. No one out. Lexi Sushi standing at second base. That one struck on right back to the pitcher and they throw to first for one out. Sushi makes her way over to third base. Great job to advance on the base pass there by Suchi. You're always tall. If the ball's hit to the right side, you're running the third base. So Tovar gets one out on her throw to first. So one out, Susi at third. D now looking. The 0 1 outside for ball one. So, Leon, America runs on Duncan, but so do you. Hot chocolate is the necessity in this cold weather here, especially with our outdoor booth. Yours is sitting over there, too, now. Don't try to pin this off. Yeah, well, I, I, get, I, get, I get a little too excited doing the play by play as that one struck on well out near that gap in center field, but moving back and making the catch for the out. Tagging up and coming home is Lexi Susi. So, one run scores for Salva Regina. And hey, Andrew, you wonder there, if the pitcher didn't uh, cut off that ball from center field, they may have had a play at the plate at home. So it's one nothing Seahawks here in the bottom of the first with two down. Genevieve Benoit stepping in. I was going to say, I get, I get a little too angry. I'm Italian. I talk with my hands. If I had that hot chocolate in my hands, it would be all over you. It would be all over Ed. In between innings is when I'm going to have my hot chocolate. First pitch in there for a called strike. Salve continuing that trend of attacking early. Tovar, that one inside in the dirt near the feet of Benoit. Count now one and one. Tovar delivers on the 1-1, one, one. that one outside, ball two. Two one with two outs. Here in the bottom of the first inning. On the second game of a 
double header. 2-1 pitched. Hit taken by the second baseman. Throw to first in time for the out. So one run scores for Salva Regina. They lead 1-0 at the end of the first inning. We head to the top of the second. Turn here to Topa Field. Sam Lasano up to bat here for Easton Nazarene. Seahawks leading one nothing, and they have scored in six consecutive innings now, scoring in every inning in that last game, and one run in the. We didn't bat the ball. So I said five consecutive innings. All in one the count here. All one delivered inside ball one. I'm taking her signal. She delivers on the 1-1. One, one. That one in there for a called strike. Count now 1-2. and two. And where is Perry for the first game for the Seahawks? Had a majority of her pitches to up or higher in the zone. Burnham taking a different approach this game, keeping all of her balls low, below the kneecap here to start the game. She delivers on the 1-2. That one up in the strike zone. Fouled out. Of course, as I say, as I comment on her low pitching, fires a chest high fastball. Today has been a clinic in broadcasting curse, <laughs> in the broadcaster's curse. Burnham delivers on the one, two, hits the batsman, so. And in the cold weather, you know that hit by pitch has got to sting just a little bit extra. The switch hitting Lasano makes her way down to it's one of the first base. Excuse me, Andrew. One of the advantages of sort of batting on top of the plate, a lot of hitters nowadays standing just a foot or two outside of the plate. Their left shoulder hangs over the home plate. Bunt attempt caught, having to throw back near first, can't make the play. That was an unbelievable hustle play by Lauren Fallon for Salve. Great job to hustle all the way from first base to come up with that pop-up. And great awareness to turn right around and fire it over to a covering Jenna Dean. Moved over from second base to cover first. Really fundamentally sound defense by the Seahawks. Here. That would have been an incredible play if they could have turned that into a double play. But regardless, they hold the runner at first. Another bunt attempt. This one laid down. Burnham gets it. Throws to first for one out. No play at second. So they advance the base runner but get the second out. Lasano has had to earn it this inning. She's got a, 
sore left arm from getting hit by the bat and now covered in dirt from diving back on that steal attempt. Hustle all around. And that one struck on. Burnham collects. We'll throw to first in time for the third out. And we head to the bottom of the second when Salvador Jean is still leading 1-0. Back here in our cozy outdoor broadcast booth. Bottom of the second, Salva Regina coming up to bat. Carol O'Reilly stepping in for the Seahawks. Been a formidable one-two punch so far today with O'Reilly followed by Nelson coming after her. O'Reilly's done a great job of getting our base. Nelson's done an even better job of knocking her in. Fresh pitch called for ball. So 1-0 the count. Standing that one glove by the third baseman. That was a shot. You can hear the echo off Lasano's glove there. Great job to keep her feet planted. She never took her eye off that line drive. They don't call it the hot reason for nothing. And by hot reason, I mean hot corner. My high school baseball days played third base. <laughs> I know that those line drives can creep up on you pretty quickly. That first pitch in there for a called strike on Nelson. And I I know that hot corner from sitting out on the third baseline and having a lot of fly balls go right over my head in some major league ballparks. Nelson pops this one up in the right field and no one can get there in time so it falls in fair. I don't know what happened in there. Maybe some miscommunication on the Eastern Nazarene outfielders combined with a little bit of love from the wind on that fly ball. So Nelson is aboard with one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Fonte now looking to get a little thunder coming off from her bat. Fountain, excuse me. It's a great, great fake on that throw down the first base there. Actually made Sarah Nelson dive back. That throw was not coming. Tovar delivers that one up high. Ball two. So Fountain ahead in the count here. Two to nothing. Tovar delivers. That one down low. Ball three.
Tovar looking in now steps on the rubber. Lines and delivers on the 3-0. That one. Ball four. So Fountain will trot down to first. Nelson over to second. Not what Tovar is looking for here. And with the walks bad enough, walking someone with the bases empty, you can sort of get away with it. But now Salvador Regina has got two base runners here. And Dominique Burnham, the starting pitcher in this game for Salvador Regina, steps into the batter's box. You know how the old idiom goes, help yourself here. Number 18 looking to drive in some runs to support herself on the mound. Want to know the count now to Burnham. She watches that one sail in for a called strike. Count now one and one. <laughs> Burnham awaiting the one one pitch. That one followed back. Count now one and two. Burnham here looking to protect the plate here. Got to shorten up your stride. Strike zone gets a lot bigger here with two strikes. Here comes the one two. That one slow rising pitch up high. Ball two. Not sure if that got away from Tovar. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she was trying to make 18 chase on that pitch, but as well, like you said, Andrew, most likely got away a little bit. Too much rise on that ball. The 2-2, two -two, down low, ball three. Good eye by Burnham right there. That pitch was borderline, but... Good patience. Here comes the 3-2. Burnham makes contact, that one drifting foul. So the count remains full. Then at first and second with one out here. Bottom of the second inning. Tova to the set. She delivers on the 3 2. Another shot. Foul. Great battle here by Burnham between both pitchers now. Tova continuing to pound the strike zone, forcing Burnham to have to swing at these pitchers. Great job by Burnham battling off now. Count still full, three and two, one out, two on for the Seahawks. Tovar delivers, that one's outside, ball four, bases loaded now with one down. That was a great snag by Albuquerque Moore, the catcher there, for AC Nazarene. If that ball got by her, it could be an extra run on the scoreboard. Now Marissa Simpson comes to bat. Excellent opportunity here for the Seahawks. Bases loaded, one out. First pitch outside, ball one. You can see the corners in for Eastern Nazarene now with the bases loaded. Play is at the plate. That one on the outside corner of the strike sound called strike one. If the ball's hit to either first base or third base here, they're going to be throwing home. If the ball's hit to shortstop or second, they're going to be doing a, probably a force out at second here. 1-1 one, one outside. If that ball reaches the outfield. They're all kind of cut off. If that ball reaches the outfield, it will be a cutoff play, another throw home. Trying by any means to prevent another run from crossing the board. A 2-1 inside, ball three. You think Simpson's probably just going to watch this pitch. Don't want to hit into a double play. So here comes the 3-1 from Tovar. She delivers, and Simpson makes contact. That one thrown. Can't be gloved in time, so 1-1 will score. Simpson gets to first on an RBI single. Kristen Hole, first baseman for Eastern Adelaide, and bobbled that ball on the transfer from the glove to the hand. Spell out the base owner, everyone to be safe on the base pass. So an aggressive move by Simpson pays off. Swing at a 3-1 pitch with the bases loaded. One run scores. 
And base is still loaded for Lexi Susi. Susi who reached in all of her plate appearances in the last game. It's a really good eye for Susi today. She did a great job staying away from these low or high balls. Really waiting for pitches in her zone. And impressive to show that kind of patience and skill because she's already, she's just a freshman. So, she has a it's bright a Salve Regina, Regina future ahead of her. Very encouraging sight for the Seahawks here. On a team that has a lot of senior, a lot of senior leadership. So they're gonna need players like Susie to step up next season, fill the void. And that patience paying off the count now, three and oh for Susie. Base is loaded with one out here. Salve Regina leading two nothing. <laughs> Tovar trying to work out of a jam. She delivers on the 3-0. Susie makes contact. That one drifts into the gap. So one run will score. Rounding third. Here comes another run. Cut off. Not in time at the plate. Simpson makes her way over the third. Susie in at second. So two more runs score. And it's 4-0 Seahawks. Great awareness by Salve Base owners, especially Marissa Simpson there. Realizing that play wasn't really fielded cleanly. Able to advance over to third base. So, Katie Napier now, hopefully able to pick up an RBI now with the advancement of the base runners by Salve. So now runners at second and third. Katie Napier steps in with just one out here. Bottom of the second. Tovar delivers the first pitch, down and away, ball one. Tovar delivers. Napier lays down a little bunt down the third baseline. Throw to first will be in time for the out. They try the force out at home, and she's safe. So Simpson scores from third. So a sacrifice bunt from Napier scores Simpson, and it's 5 nothing Seahawks with two outs here. So she's still standing in at second. Great hustle by Simpson. She kept her eyes on home plate. Usually base runners tend to keep an eye on what's going on at first base. It allows them to lose a step advancing towards the base. Great job. Simpson kept her head down. Easy to score on that throw. First ball from Tovar. Called ball one. Jen Edine now in the batter's box for Salva Regina. Batting here with two outs in the bottom of the second. Salva Regina already with I believe four runs here in this inning. Tovar, another one of those slow rising pitches. Who knows the uh, fifth run scored here by the Seahawks? The scoreboard's a little behind. So another 3-0 count here for Tovar. And in there for a call strike. These balls, Andrew, to lead off hitters. It's just gonna be bad news for Tovar here. Gonna, these balls really making her work more than she has to, especially with this cold weather. You know she wants to get over to the bench, keep that hand warm. On the outside, inside corner, ball four. So Dean makes her way down to first. Tovar continues to struggle through the inning. Leaving just one more out. And now Genevieve Benoit steps in. Two outs, two on here for the Seahawks. Tova trying to work out of a jam. First pitch in there from the inside corner of the plate for strike one. Oh, on the count, that one right, glove by Tovar. Good eye by Tovar, the glove that one hit right back to her. So that's the third out of this inning. We head to the top of the third. Salva Regina doing their damage though with four runs here in the bottom of the second inning. And we head to the top of the third with a score of five, nothing.
So Crystal Hull, the batter now for the Lions, trailing 5 nothing here in the top of the third. And that first pitch from Burnham inside, strike one. Great job, great movement on that pitch to go from one end of the strike zone to the other. Pretty much a riddle on how to hit that. That pitch on the inside corner now for strike two. And that ability to be able to paint both sides of the play edge really puts these Eastern Nazarene batters at a big disadvantage in the second game. We've got to find a way, maybe get some first pitch swings out here, get the ball in play. Swing and a miss. And they have to throw to first for the out. So one down for the Lions. And that was a laser from the cannon. Uh, Genevieve Benoit on that play. What a fire down the first base. That was a strikeout. Only takes a little bit of a soft toss down the first base line, but Benoit really letting that laser go. Brown delivers on the first pitch, and there, strike one. And like you said, the, the Lions are just taking that first strike, and we saw it in the first game. In the second game, at some point, you got to maybe just start swinging and trying to make contact because the Salve Regina pitchers are just playing with a whole lot of confidence right now. And Salve's offense is just too good on the other end. That one laid down in the infield, throw to first for the second out of this inning. And I'm pretty sure Jenna Dean can make that play in her sleep on that ground ball in second place. Great job staying in front of it. Beautiful glove work. Easy toss over to first. Now, Olivia Tovar, like you said, the data just help yourself, trying to help herself here. <laughs> Maybe spark this Lions offense. Swinging at the first pitch, that one back into the fence. Almost at our beautifully placed camera right there. So all on one the count. Two down here in the top of the third. Burnham delivers that one down low, ball one. Seahawks leading 5 nothing here in the second game. Of a doubleheader with Eastern Nazarene, second pitch. Another one in the dirt, 2 and one the count. Tovar here really trying to be patient. Work Burnham, trying to wait for her pitch. <laughs> that one up high, ball three. <laughs> Three and one the count here. Two outs. Top of the third. That one in there for a call strike. So full count now for Tovar. With two outs here in the top of the third. Burnham delivers on the 3-2. That one swung on. Taken by the shortstop. Has a play at first. Throw will not be in time. So Tovar is safely aboard. And I mean, the, the degree of difficulty on that throw by Marissa Sampson, she's deep in the hole at shortstop right there. That was a really, really great throw over there. Good hustle by Tovar to get down the line as well. And Tovar with patience, working the, working the count. That's all it takes. Waiting for her pitch. Back into a game, just patience in the batter's box. That opens things up. Now Abigail Moore will step into the batter's box. So still two outs, one on here for the Lions. That one swung on and fouled. I wonder if you can play the ball off the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get some points for style. Only in ba basketball <laughs> you can do that. Backyard baseball. Off the fence, off the foul pole. Into the glove. That one. Beautiful pitch. In there for a called strike. 0-2 now. Burnham quickly ahead. Great job by Burnham to keep these pitches low around the kneecap region. It's tough to get your bat around down there. Burnham delivers on the 0-2. Swung on. Burnham can't glove it. Taken by the second baseman. Charging over and covering from the shortstop position. They get the out at second base. So we head to the bottom of the third with Sal Regina leading 5 to nothing.
So Carol Riley steps in for the Seahawks here at the bottom of the third inning. It feels like Andrew, as we climb in innings, we drop in temperature here. <laughs> Turn. Swinging bats, throwing balls, jogging around the field, doing anything they can to stay warm here. 6.07 here in Newport, Rhode Island at Topa Field. Starting temperature at game time, I think it was somewhere in the high 40s. I'm confident that it's not there now. First pitch high for ball one. Carol O'Reilly did a great job working the count last day back. Yeah, the, the players may be cold, but the Seahawks' offense has been hot. <laughs> And they're pitching, Andrew. Pretty much everything's been clicking on all cylinders to the Seahawks in this doubleheader so far. That one in there for a called strike for Tovar. One and one the count now. When your pitchers can work in harmony with your batting lineup, it just means good things for Salve. The other end for Easton Nazarene, they got to find a way to get Salve a few one, two, three innings, string them together so they have a chance to put some runs up on the board, get back into this game. Count two and one now to O'Reilly, who's hitting 205 on the year. A pitch high, ball three. So Tova had a really long, really long second inning. See how things go here in the third. And we've gotten the official word is currently 42 degrees. I think that's before wind chill though. <laughs> Feels like 22. Full count now for O'Reilly. Tovar delivers on the 3-2. That one swung on right over the shortstop into the gap at center field. O'Reilly rounding first. She will head to second. That ball looks like it went under the fence there, resulting in a ground rule double. Now batting for the Seahawks, number 32, Sarah Nelson. And Sarah Nelson will step into the batter's box now. It's a shame that went under the fence because O'Reilly probably had a play at third. Yeah, she almost had a triple on that one. I mean, that ball was right in her sweet spot. Couldn't be any more directly down the middle of the plate. If you give a pitch like that to Sarah Nelson, we could be watching a two-run home run going on. Tovar delivers on the first pitch. That one outside, ball one. Sarah Nelson up, or Nelly, as they like to call her, and then, then the dugout. Looking to get it high in here with a <laughs> runner on second base. Oh. Takes a pitch in the back, so Nelly will head down to first base. So Sarah Nelson heading down the first base line with the hit pitch. And you would tell her to get some, throw some ice on there but with the 40. It's, it's, it's cold enough outside. Get a teammate's hands and put them on your <laughs> Lauren Fountain steps in now with no one away here in the bottom of the third. Salve leading 5 nothing with runners at first and second. Fountain's done a really good job of working behind Sarah Nelson today. Sarah Nelson did a great job of getting on base. Fountain doing a great job of knocking her in. First pitch in there for a called strike. So Tovar working with Two on, no one out. Second pitch in there for another called strike. And I mean, that pitch was in the same exact location of that last double by O'Reilly. I thought we were going to see a deep fly ball on that last one. These pitches, though very accurate by Tovar, are right down the middle, Andrew. Tovar delivers on the 0-2. That one swung on by Fallon into the gap at center field. O'Reilly will score from third. Throw will be cut off at, the, at midfield. Tovar will hold it. So Fountain at first and great piece of gap hitting again by Salve Regina. There's really nothing Eastern Nazarene can do right now, Andrew. If they try and pinch the outfield to get rid of those gaps, there's the left all the way towards the uh, foul lines on each side of the field. They're going to be wide open. Salve Regina pretty much in control of where they want to hit these balls. Really dominating right now. Swing and a miss from Burnham. Fountain trying to take second. And I mean, even though Eastern Nazarene was trying to hold off so to avoid a play at the plate, pitcher had Salve out at second base right there. Just 
little miscommunication between defenders here for the lines. So instead of runners at the corners, they have two runners in scoring position now. Fountain and Nelson at second and third. No one out here yet in the bottom of the third inning. One and one the count. Tovar stands in. She delivers on the 1-1. One -one. That one swung in by Burnham to the third baseline. They throw home for one out. So Nelson gets thrown out at home. And now we have runners at the corners once again. And Marissa Simpson stepping back into the batter's box. Runners at the corners for Salvador Gino. One out here in the bottom of the third. First pitch high for ball one. Steal attempt coming, and again, she does not throw. And I mean, that could be two quick outs here. Therese de Nazarene, they've had him at second base twice. Sadly, almost taking that stolen base for granted as the last two base runners jogged into his bag. Tovar delivers on the 1 0, that one outside, ball two. Great stop again by Abigail Moore. Preserving a run almost on that wild pitch. And maybe Tova just doesn't have the confidence to throw. She doesn't want to turn and throw, and 